All right. So now let's look at market equilibrium. In this market equilibrium, we'll be using a simple scenario market of cars, Singapore cars. All right. And as you can see, okay, your y axis is price and your x axis it is output. All right. This is your demand for cars from household and the supply of cars from producers. And just now we have actually examined, okay. In the video, what happens when the the when your demand and supply intersects? Okay, this is your market equilibrium. Okay, your market equilibrium is is um is achieved when your demand equals to your supply. Okay, and you need to denote your equilibrium price and output. Okay, normally we will denote P zero and Q zero. This is normally okay, but right now I'm trying to simplify things by using a numerical scenario numerical example okay so right now the equilibrium price for singapore car is a thousand dollars okay at 1000 quantity okay so this 1000 quantity simply means there are 1000 quantity that is transacted okay 1000 produced and 1000 consumed okay transacted here okay and as we all know coe is very expensive in singapore okay so uh, this is just for illustration it will not be one thousand dollars don't worry about that okay but in normal diagram, okay, please don't use numerical um, illustration. Use P0 and Q0 instead. Okay. So now, let's consider this scenario. Okay, when price is at $1,500. Okay, you realize that when you mark $1,500 across, okay, you realize that based on the demand curve, only 500 uh, consumers who want to buy cars. But at the same time, when price is at $1,500, there will be a lot of producers that wants to produce car. All right? And we will have this scenario where your quantity supply is greater than your quantity demanded. Okay? And when this scenario occurs, we will have a surplus of car. Okay, get me so far. So in the video, we actually learned that when there is a when there is a surplus scenario, okay, there will be a downward pressure on price. Okay, why is it a downward pressure on price? So consider this scenario. Okay, at one thousand five hundred dollars and one thousand five hundred cars. Okay, the producers are having a lot of excess inventories. They overproduce. Okay, but your consumers, okay, they are, your consumers, they are going to demand way lesser, okay, at such a high price, too expensive. So what do producers want to do? Okay, they will want to, low, they will want to start to lower price, okay, in order to clear off these excess inventories. Okay, at the same time, based on the market signaling, the price signaling method, Okay, you will actually attract more consumers into the market. Okay, because of lower price. Okay, so you actually see that quantity demanded. This is hypothetical. This is seven hundred. Okay, and this is one thousand three hundred. Okay, and eventually, okay, the more price, the the more producers, the the less producers are willing to accept. Okay, the more consumers will want to buy, okay, because of the law, the law of demand, the lower the price, the higher the quantity demanded, until they reach this market equilibrium at E0. Okay, so this is actually your price signaling in place. Okay, and through price signaling, the producers are signaling to the produce, uh, cons the consumers or the household that, um, we want to clear excessive inventories with lower price, okay? And this will attract more and more consumers into the market. All right?